Today I'm going to show you how to install Joomla in a very simple way. <laughs> So, Joomla requires a few steps. Number one, you have to create a folder for it. Two, you have to create either a domain or a subdomain. It's up to you. Three, you create a database for it. Four, you install, you upload the files and extract it. And then five, you run through the installer. That's all there is to it. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, your web host should have given you access, hopefully, to cPanel, which is kind of like your toolbox for your website, okay? So you go into here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a database. And we're going to call this database simple. Okay? Now, each database needs a user. You'll see this one doesn't have one. If you already have a database user, you can go ahead and reuse that by all means. But let's pretend we don't have one, and we'll just call him simple. Uh, we'll use simple password and simple password. Okay, we'll create it. Is he here? Yes, it's here. Okay. Then once you created the user, you have to pick that user and assign it to the database you just created. Like I said, you can reuse users if you want to. That, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Granted all privileges. And you'll see that it says it's done. So let's go back. And go back to our databases. And sure enough, Simple now has the user of Simple. Okay? That's fine. Now, if we went to GoDaddy or Namecheap or we're somebody else we purchased an, a domain name then we click on add on domain and we type the name in here okay now in my case for what i'm going to show you here we're not going to do that we're going to use what's called a subdomain subdomain you can think of it as a folder within your server and that's a good way to do sites when you're trying to build them up okay so let's click on subdomain we're going to call this one um, tutorial okay and so it's going to become tutorial hallhome.us see how that is there okay now here's the important part right here we don't want this folder to be here because what's going to happen is we're going to have to type in this really long name it would be tutorial.hallhome.us okay that's no, let's not do that. Let's just put it in a folder called Tutorial. Okay? So, we're going to put it in a folder called Tutorial. See how it automatically added the folder name for us? Okay. So, let's go to that folder. There it is. And you'll see it's not in our web group, which is where my existing Joomla install is. I don't want this subdomain to be buried inside my Joomla install. I want it to be fully separate. So I'm not going to put it under public. I hope that's not too confusing. Just do it this way. It'll make your life a whole lot easier. Okay. So now that we have our folder. Uh, we want to wait up. Wait, I want to. Sorry. This shouldn't be. One second, why clean up mess? Delete. Delete. Confirm. Thank you. Okay, we don't want to get rid of that one. Here it is. Tutorial. Okay, so here's our folder. We go into it. Now what we need to do is we need to get Joomla. Okay, so we're going to download Joomla. Pull the latest. Put it on the desktop, which I've already done. Then you go into your file manager, and you want to click on Upload. Select your file. It takes just a couple of seconds for it to upload. Okay, make sure this is 100% complete, and you get a green. If you don't, don't do anything. Click down here to go back to your folder. 
great. There it is. Now don't click over here. Make sure you click on the little folder here. And then we're going to say extract. Okay, that's done. Let's find the package we uploaded. Let's delete it. So we don't leave any trash behind. All right. Now we go to tutorial.hallhome.us. And now we run through our installer. Okay, so we'll just call it tutorial. Yeah. Uh, tutorial. Uh, whoop. Duma. 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 Please don't use these simple usernames and passwords on your own site. That's very dangerous. I guarantee you you'll get hacked. So this one we called it all home underscore simple, didn't we? Let's go back and check. Go to subdomain. Let's go back to our database, and we called it all home underscore simple. Okay, and we said it was simple password, and we said all home underscore simple. We know that by looking right here. Here's our database name. Here's our username. Okay, username, database name. Don't worry about this table prefix. That's fine. No, I don't want to save it. Choose which install you want to use. If you've never used Joomla before, go ahead and turn choose Learn Joomla English. If you're going to do multilingual or you are very comfortable with Joomla, then choose none. It saves you a lot of time. Check all this down here make sure you have all green if you don't then that will need to be fixed if you don't know how to do it contact your host it's very simple but they'll know exactly what to do now it's going to install the sample data that i asked it to okay and after the database is in, uh, has installed Juma will tell you that it's completed go ahead and remove your installation folder once that's done Go ahead and choose Administrator. Log in using the Joomla username and password that you gave during the install. Here's your back end. You see everything's there. Go ahead and check Always if you would. That helps us collect a few stats on the site. There's no identifying, it's just generic stats. Let's us know about the installs, which versions, etc. There's your front end. And you see it's all there, ready for you to design it. So that's how you install Joomla. Thank you. Oh,